Okay, so this is a recording for Peter Morrow, though it's, well, it's here for everyone who wants to use it. Um, this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to take textures from various texture packs in WAD format and compile them into a single PK3 file. So, uh, obviously here I'm using Slade 3 and I've been supplied some textures to work from here. So we've got multiple packs. I probably won't deal with every pack in this little tutorial, but sort of show how to do it at the very least. So the first thing I want to do is take all of our texture packs that we're working with and take them into Slade over here. So this will go through one by one, recursively adding them. And once it's complete, here you go. So we've got all of our wads across the top. And as you can see, so this one's quite a small one. This will be really easy to work with. This is a grass loop thing. So um, what we're going to do is over here we have this folder that I've created called Texture Compilation. This folder is going to become our PK3. So let's set up some folders ready. So we are going to be taking the flats. <laughs> I typed that wrong, look at that. Flats. And we'll also be doing textures. I don't think capital letters are needed in the PK3 format. They may even be recommended not there, but I believe they work with them, so no harm done. And now, for the sake of simplicity, I want to keep the, the, the file names from the WADs as the sort of folders that we're using within each flat and texture directory. So since we're working with grass text, we will create a folder here called grass text. And it's quite quite a simple little notion. And then we will go here to the textures folder and also create a folder I just copy pasted there. Nice and simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to grass text and we're going to look at the different files we've got. So we've got a bunch of patches which create textures. So we won't be taking these files directly. We've got one TX starts file here, which means like a pre built texture, so we will be taking everything that's between it. So from here, GR down, we will right click, graphic, go to export as PNG. So this will come out as a true color PNG, and we can go to our new, let's uh, get the folders directory here, go back to Slade, paste it in, there you go. So this is grass text, so we're going to go in there. Um, this is a texture, a wall texture, it's not a flat, so we're in textures, grass text, and we'll put it in as its file name .png. Pretty simple. Now the next bit is the textures lump. So we've got this here which is being viewed in text. If you double click it, it opens it up as a texture table. So if we scroll down we've got so many different texture varieties here which have well, just really tall versions of themselves, which I believe have grass on top. I've not checked this wad before. 4096, crikey. Anyway, so you, you get the point. Now, this particular texture pack here is actually a good example of why you should use textures um, rather than as explicit PNGs. So in this niche example, this is probably a bad one to use for converting to PNG. But let's say you used this one, this one, and this one in your wad. Rather than export the whole pack, just export the ones you are using. So you select them, right click, exports to extract texture. Um, but for the sake of completeness with this little tutorial, I'm going to be taking all of them. So we select them all. I did this by clicking the top one, holding shift and clicking the bottom one. I think control A works, up to you. Right click. Export, well, not modify. Export to extract texture. So this will be coming through as a PNG by default, and it says ignored.png. That's because it's going to be, say, zm4g4s4.png. So we hit OK. It takes a while to process. Try not to interrupt it. I've known on like weaker machines that Slade sometimes crashes doing this if it feels like it's overburdened. <laughs> Bit of a Bit of an unfortunate situation, so just don't click anything, just let it go. And shortly it will be done. There you go. So we can look in our folder now, go to grass text. Of course, I'm getting some lag because I'm recording. Wonderful. And all of our files are here. There you go. So, like I said, this is going to take up quite a lot of space. There's 201 textures here for a total of 41 megabytes, not nearly 42. 
So you definitely, definitely, definitely want to optimize that before you package up for release. So if you know, oh, I'm only going to use six of these textures, take those six textures, dump the rest. Um, but obviously when you're working on a project and you don't know which textures you're going to use, that's fine. Make a big pack like this. So we've done grass text. There were no flats here, so we'll move on to another wad. So this one's done. We'll close it from up here. Finished. Ah, now this one has an anim def slump. That's something we can deal with. And it has a bunch of flats as well. So this is a brilliant example of what we can be uh, working with. So obviously all the patches. Now most of them look like complete textures already, but they might be composite textures in the texture slump itself. So we're going to go to texture one. Double click. Scroll down until you find the new textures, which I believe should be just at the bottom. Look at all these wall ones. These look like they're the new ones. Wall 0, 1 through to 97. W light as well. So obviously you need to know the names of your textures. Um, they might be scattered all throughout. They might be just at the bottom. Um, w light and wall. They seem to be the only textures we've got. So we'll select all of those, the rest of the default iWOD textures. We'll go to Exports, Export Texture. Now we're going to create a new folder here. This is Wally Text, or Wally Text, I might have said text. So we create a folder named after the texture pack. We go inside of it, ignore.png is fine, it'll export all of those. And we'll go back to the folder just to confirm. Bam, there they all are, looking wonderful. So. Coming out of texture one, we have some evidence that these are animated. That's because of anim defs up here. So if we go to anim defs, ah, it's a flat and it's a warping. So anim defs is the ZDoom one, I believe. Um, but there is an animated lump which like defines animations for boom format, say a waterfall, for example. Um, but yeah, so this anim defs lump. Now this has plain text. This is quite easy for us to read. So we're going to copy all of the text, just select it all, hit Control C, and in the root of our directory, so the texture compilation itself, outside of the flattened textures, we're going to create a new text file. Uh, that's a rich text, I think that's me rushing too quickly again. And stream lag. <laughs> this is this is a wonderful tutorial, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, delete everywhere. Okay. So when this wakes up, new text document. And this we will call an index. We open it up. Here's our notepad. And we just paste the text from the editor, the Slade editor, and paste it into our text file. Hit save. And there it is. There it's one kilobyte. It's got some data in it. Fantastic. So that's the NMDEF supported. Now we've got left is the flats. So we've got these flats here between the FF start and end tags. Just select them all, right click, graphics, export as PNG. Again, uh, we need to go to our directory. Now we're going to go into flats and we'll create Wally text. So it's always folded correctly. Go inside of Wally text. Hit save. That happened so quickly it didn't even come up with a pop up. Fantastic. <clears throat> and there you go, you can see them all here. All of our new flats. So that's Wally Text done. I'm just going to do one more as an example and I'm going to look for one that has an animated lump. Just so we can use that as an example. If one here has it, of course. Uh, this one here has a texture 1 and texture 2 lump. You can do what I've done here, so you just double click on both go through and find all the new textures and export them. Okay, does this have any animated stuff? We have an anim defs. So anim defs is already the correct format, but there might be an animated lump. No? Okay. Uh, I'm going to keep looking, just in case. So these are all new flats. Cool text doesn't have any animations and Jimmy text there you go this is a good one switches and animated there is an anim defs already for warping flats so we can con convert those as well so yeah the rest of these you sort of do on your own accord but we'll use Jimmy text here as an example so 
The first thing we want to do, of course, is get all of the flats and all of the textures out first. So we're going to scroll through until we see the flats. We might as well do those first. So everything between the tags, we select them. We go graphics, export as PNG. And we're here in the flats folder. We'll create Jimmy text as a folder. And then hit save. Done. So the next one is the texture one folder. So hopefully it's not alphabetical, but rather all at the bottom. Perfect. So after all the ZZ, uh, triple Z like textures, you know, the outcome of sin, we have all of our custom assets, which is very handy. So we go and select all, all of those textures. We right click, exports to export track, uh, export texture, sorry. And since these are textures, not flats, we go to the textures folder. And this would be Gmtex. Go into the folder and export. Okay, so now the textures are done. I'm just going to go and confirm. So we have our Jimmy Tex flats, <laughs> the caco, caco lava there, good stuff. And the caco flat, interesting. <laughs> Okay, so uh, there's our flats, and if we go to the textures, why is my explorer so slow when I stream or record? I guess it's because it's writing the data to the hard drive. Did that just crash? No, it just resized. So yeah, we go into Jimmy Tex, and um, you can see we have all of the new textures here, which is great, and we've got these ones which need to be animated, like uh, Slad Rep, Slad Blood, so on and so forth. So, those will be done with the switches and animated lumps respectively. Now, first we have an anim defs here, so we're going to copy this across, just get this one done. So, we copy the text, we go to the roots directory of our textures folder, back into the anim defs and just add it on the end. If you want to add comments, I believe it's double forward slash, so you can say Jimmy text. And here would be uh, Wally text. So you've got comments on where they came from which is always handy. And then if we go back, we can then look at the animated lump. Now this is in a table format. It's a bit less intuitive in my mind, a bit more fiddly, but Slade has a fantastic feature. Right click, converts to anim defs. It creates a new anim defs lump here. It says that it's generated. You don't need to keep that comment, but it does prove that it's double forward slash for the comments. And there, from there, so from there to there, you can see that we have all the new uh, definitions. Some of them are redefined of already existing ones. So you can see, like, we already had nukage, water, slime water, or in this case, actually S water. I'm not even sure what that is. Um, but yeah, you go through and get rid of all of the IWOD ones. So I believe D-Brain is the last one. So we'll delete those because we know we don't need those. And then the rest of them look to be custom. So we copy those, we go back to our anim defs, and we paste it in below. So this is still part of Jimmy Text, so we could carry on. If you wanted to be more defined with your comments, you could always do that. So we could do Jim Jimmy Text animated lump. So you always know where it came from if you're ever confused and want to refer back to it. And make sure you save, always save. And then we've got the switches tab. So here we have the switch definitions. What is the on state and the off state for any switch? So if we right click and go converts to anim defs again, we get another anim defs lump, which shows all of the switches. Um, you know, I'm not sure which one, if any, is new. So I'm just going to take all of them for now, and you can go through in your own time, identify which one is an iWod texture and which one isn't. Take out all the iWod ones and leave just the custom ones. And of course we will paste it in our anim-defs lump. So this becomes one big single anim-defs definition. So we've just updated the comment here saying switches lump. You've got all these pieces and save. So how do you convert that to a PK3? Good question. So let's say you are making a map, any old map. Um, I'm going to create a dummy text file and we're going to pretend this is a map. So you've made your new fancy map onewod file. And inside of map01 is map01 as a map. Okay? 
Now that should be in a maps folder. You can drag that into the maps folder. Brilliant. And when you then play the PK3, it will understand Map01 as Map01 and boot it and play as you expect. Each map goes into its own individual uh, file. So Map2 would be in its own WAD file with Map01 inside of it. So each of them are Map01 inside, I believe, but they're named the map slot that they're intended to be. Um, <clears throat> there's a chance I'm slightly wrong on that. I don't think I am, but <laughs> I'm human. Anyway, so that's how you do a map. For the sake of this being a texture pack, I'm going to remove it. So this is all we have. All you need to do is select everything. Once you've done all of your compiling, you right click, send to compressed zip folder. You can use any other tool you want, 7-zip, WinRAR, whatever. Just make sure it's in .zip format. Now, when you create the folder, the, the new file, sorry, call it what you want. So this will call uh, example text. And instead of .pk3, oh sorry, .zip, it's .pk3. Done. So I'm going to make a new map, and we're going to use our example text.pk3 file as a resource. So I'll make a new map. Uh, we're going to work for gzdoom udmf format because that's roughly what we're targeting. And we'll go for from pk3 for our resources. We can navigate to our texture compilation. We've got example text.pk3. We'll hit OK. I'm just going to draw a shape, dump the player in, and if we hop into the 3D mode. <laughs> Wow, uh, I think my hard drive is dying. I've got very little space and I'm recording this video, so try that again. One last try. New map, map01. We'll add the resource from PK3. It's struggling to load the icons, look. Okay, so if I hit 3D mode, yay, it didn't crash. Fantastic. So, we have all of our custom textures. Here we've got our really tall grass ones, so if we place one of those in, it's got sloped grass at the top, and goes on for a very long height without grass. <laughs> Which is actually an interestingly useful texture. That goes on and on and on, that's possibly excessive. Anyway, so that concludes the tutorial, that's how you compile texture packs into one single PK3. And hopefully that can help you. Um, if you do have any questions, send me a PM. I'm Dragonfly on Doom World. Uh, you can also hit me up with a comment on my website, dfdoom.com. Thank you very much. Hopefully this has helped. Take care.